Blackfield TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at the South Bank Centre today with me. I've got Dominic Ingle. Uh, how are you? I'm good, mate. Are you? I'm great, thanks. Good. Um, Kid Galahad, Barry, whatever you want to call him, uh, just in the ring, looking sharp on the pads, looking good, looking fit. Um, he's fighting on a Saturday, a big fight for him. Yeah. Uh, how's, it gone for, how's it been going in training? No, he's, he's been, obviously, he's, he's never out of camp. He's always training at some kind of level. He boxed in February on an ITV show. Unfortunately, didn't, you know, the, the opponent didn't turn up. He was a, a short, uh, short notice fight at the end. Uh, he came through that and he's looking to impress on Saturday night against uh, this uh, this kid who's fighting Satano, I think they call him. Have you seen much of him? Yeah, some against Quig. I thought he'd put up a good fight. Um, he's tricky. He's, he's not a usual, uh, you know, South American type of fighter. He's very tricky on his feet. He's very awkward, and uh, you know, he's, he's a decent he's a decent fighter. I mean, he's got the probably one of the best gyms in Britain, if not the best for the sparring and whatnot, especially with a few more added additions. Um, obviously, how's Kel, first of all? Yeah, Kel, yeah, Kel's good. I mean, he's had his operation, he's back in the gym training. Um, he'll be down on Saturday night, I think, to support Barry. And it's just a case getting him back on track now, breaking into his training slowly, and he's looking at, you know, a December date. I mean, a few people question whether he should walk away from the sport now after getting the, the sort of eye injury because a lot of people need a vision's a big thing it's not like a like an arm or a hand I mean what when you first when you heard the injury was the what happened again what did you say to him yeah I'm saying he, he look he's down to the specialist he's, he's been into into Sheffield the same uh, surgeon who did his, his other eye did the job and and to be honest you know he's actually will go back stronger so we're not expecting any more problems in that in that situation in that area so it's down to Kelly it's just whether mentally he can get himself back up there he's, he's been to the top he's had some great fun. Fights. Uh, I think he's still got something to prove. Um, you know the way he has to train uh, and go into camp. It's you know you can't just do that half-heartedly. And if you if you can't do it 100%, if Kilbrook can't do it 100%, then he won't be able to fight because he needs to train that hard. He needs to shift the weight. He needs to get himself fit and put yourself through a camp to get in the ring. is it, it, tough. Uh, and you know for the Errol Spence fight, you know people are talking about him quitting. Fighters don't quit really in fights, they quit in training camp, they, they don't do everything 100%, they cut corners, but Kilbrook for that fight did everything right, he did everything perfect, he, you know, he, he killed his self-training, he, he put 100% in, and, and on the night, you know, it was an injury what stopped him from carrying on with the fight. Um, and as long as he can put himself through those training camps, he'll always be able to fight, and I'll know before he fights, if he can't put himself through those training camps and can't do the work required, then he can't be getting in the ring, and that's when you know. Um, obviously, that's one world champion in the gym, uh, former world champion. We've got Billy Joe Saunders now, uh, WBO middleweight world champion in the world. Um, a big character. How are you, you handling him? No, Billy's all right, but you know when you've been around boxing, you, you see you know characters like Billy. They're, they've all got their own character. Kel Brook, Kid Galahad, Adam Etchers, you know Billy Joe. Over the years, you get used to them. That's what boxers are. The large Nazim Ahmed, you know who's more you know complicated and, and brash than that guy. So you know Billy's just in the same kind of mold. He's got the same qualities. You know he can fight. Uh, this is the thing about Billy Joe Saunders, he can fight, he was brought, brought up fighting. But that's not you know, what he needs to learn, it's just a bit more discipline with his diet, a bit more discipline with his lifestyle. Uh, you know, and I think we've done that in the three weeks he's been up here, he's, he's trimmed up, he's dropped a stone, he's enjoying the training. He's enjoying the food. It's a different way of training for him. Um, you know, when I've talked to him about how he's done it before, killing himself in the gym, starving himself, it's not the way to do it. You can't operate 100%, you know, living like that and training like that. So we've done something different, and uh, I think he's really enjoying it. I mean, obviously, after he's been in boxing all his life and fighting all his life, do you think sometimes the, the repetition of doing the same thing again and again can get a little bit boring for a fighter? Yeah, it can do, and I think that's why you've got to change it up. You know, you've got to do different things. You've got to, you've got to test them in a different way. You know, given something that they're not you that they're not used to. And sometimes with fighters, when you do that, you know, it's like trying to teach a dog, you know, an old dog new tricks. They don't want to do it because it's back to the learning process. But to be honest, Billy picks up things very very quickly. You know, he's a southpaw. I love training southpaw fighters. You know, he doesn't switch. We we, we, we can teach him to switch. We can train him to switch. He's not going to fight to switch but just a different method of how he approaches his training you know building strength up and balance from both sides from both stances ultimately he's a southpaw fighter but just little things like that you can tell straight away that he can pick things up very very quickly and adapt and that's what makes him a, an exciting fighter he's, he's not you know he's not a, a crash bang wallop he's a, he's a he's a smart box he can fight on the back foot he can fight on, fight on the front foot i've had guys fight him you know i've been in the opposite corner against him and uh, they've all said he, you know he's a smart he's a smart thinker so you know exciting times and hopefully you know he rolls into the fight in september and uh, puts on a good performance obviously just the road from the hotel you're going to be staying in on friday there'll be a press conference from mcgregor versus mayweather um we've got to talk about it because uh, it's been built as a super fight I mean, what do you make of it? You know, obviously the purists out there, you know, are all up in arms over it, but 
as an entertainment uh, event, you know, it's gonna bring people in who've never watched boxing and never watched MMA, I think. It's, it's gonna create a stir, um, you know, and it should be exciting while it lasts. I, I just, I look at the McGregor and I think, you know, his arms and legs, um, he's taken away 50% of his game by, by taking his legs out of it. And that's like Mayweather going into a fight against a top fighter with one arm behind his back. And I'm sure Mayweather could probably fight and beat a lot of people with one arm behind his back. But I don't think McGregor can do that, you know, without using his legs. So, you know, it's good. Uh, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring a lot more probably fans into both sports, but for, for different reasons. You know, they might just tune into that and then start watching boxing or start watching MMA. So, you know, a lot of purists are up, uh, up against it, but I think it's a good thing. I'll do you a favour. Um, on Saturday as well, there was the draw for the World Series of Boxing. Um, big tournament, some good fights obviously domestically now. We've got Groves versus Cox, which I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to. And obviously the winner of um, Abraham versus... Is it the World Series of Boxing? It's, is it, that's what it's called? It's not, no, it's not called World Series of Boxing. It's called the World Super Series. That's it. You got it there. We, well, I don't know, because if, you, if you're not going to say World Series of Boxing, I think somebody's oh. going to be onto you saying... World Super Series. That's Apologies. Yeah. Apologies. Yeah. Uh, anyway, what do you make of it? Yeah, it's, listen, it's good. It, it, It'd be interesting to see how this format's going to work. Um, you know, it sounds great, and there's some big money at stake, and it reminds me of the Super Six contest that they had a few years ago, which I thought was quite good. But as with most things, you know, uh, they very rarely run smoothly, and it's great when they do. Um, but like, we'll have to see. You know, let's see how it all unfolds. Out. I'm not sure until the until the fighters step in the ring for the first fight. I think we're all going to be, uh, you know, waiting with bated breath. If one of your fighters got offered a, a, a place in a tournament at their weight, I mean, what would you say, what would you say to them? Um, difficult really because it is going to create opportunities for fighters and if you think you know James DeGale, Callum Smith, uh, Jamie Cox they've been waiting around for a long time for big fights and I think when you put yourself into this competition you're guaranteed the big fight so you're going to come, ac come across some big fights so I think it's a good thing because I think with any fighter uh, the big gripe is inactivity you know sitting around waiting for these fights to, uh, to arrive and, and that's, that was the situation with Kel Brook you know, before he boxed Golovkin, he wanted the big fights. People were saying, oh, you don't want to fight anybody. You're fighting all these mandishes who are rubbish. And, you know, and he proved everybody wrong by taking the fight against Golovkin. And then he proved everybody wrong by taking the fight with Spence. People saying he wasn't going to go back down to world to wait. Look, fighters want to fight. We know lose, they want to fight. They just want the opportunities to fight. And sometimes, you know, they don't happen. So it, it can only be a good thing for boxing, I think. All right, mate, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's exciting times ahead for boxing all round, isn't it? Yeah, boxing's on the up. You know, we've got a lot of uh, TV involved in boxing. We've got Sky Sports, Box Nation, BT Sport, Channel 5. ITV. You know, ITV. We've got uh, David here with his thing, what uh, he's doing now. He's Spike. just, yeah, Spike TV. So, you know, it's, it's interesting times and it's giving fighters opportunities who wouldn't normally get opportunities. So, yeah, you know, boxing's in its, uh, you know, in, in its prime at the minute. Like I said, good times, exciting times. But um, listen, Dom, I'll let you crack on. Obviously, uh, Barry's over there being busy, so I'll let you no get problem. back to him. But until then, I'll catch up with you soon. But thank you for coming to IFL TV. Thanks a lot.